Hello and welcome to the Recursion Cafe where we play games from the discard pile. In today's game of a match we have Hussein on the left making his debut and Mina on the right. Hussein is playing Jekyll and Hyde, a solo fighter with 2 movement and 16 health. He can transform to either Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde at the start of his turn, but if he moves as Mr. Hyde, he will take a damage. There is his opening hand. And it looks like there's Mina's opening hand. She is playing Bloody Mary, also a solo fighter with 3 movement and 16 health. At the start of her turn, if she has exactly 3 cards in hand, she gains an action. So two scary solo fighters. One of them being move three is, is definitely a very big deal in this matchup. So right here on uh, turn two, Mina technically moves four spaces. She could have moved three and still been in range, but it's worth noting that that uh, bit of the boat doesn't connect. Regardless, here's the first attack of the game. It's an out of the mirror into a feint. Mina wasn't angling for that extra card draw, but it's basically an ambush, a one value ambush, but feint takes care of that handily. So now Bloody Mary will start the turn directly next to Jekyll and Hyde, and predictably he will transform into Mr. Hyde. The first action is a strange case, which reveals the top card of the deck, deals damage equals to boost value, and then uh, Hussein will draw that card. So that's a pure evil for three damage. Also a very handy card to have against a more mobile fighter. Second action I imagine will be a big swing from Mr. Hyde, and it'll be a recoiling blow into a broken glass. I imagine Mina will want to boost that up to a 4, so it's a 5 into a 4 for 1 damage through to Bloody Mary. And then Hussein will get to disengage and transform back into Dr. Jekyll. Really handy card for Mr. Hyde and Dr. Jekyll to avoid damage in that way. The Bloody Mary will just take a double maneuver, draw cards back up into hand, and uh, Hussein will transform once again. He has a pure evil in hand, so now seems like a good time to play it. He will place Mr. Hyde directly next to, or presumably directly next to Bloody Mary for maximum uh, efficiency and deal 2 damage through to Bloody Mary. So we're 16 health at maximum to 10 on Bloody Mary's side. And here comes the attack. So this could be Duality of Man. This, could, this is unlikely to be a Forever Hyde this early, so we'll see what it is. It's a Skirmish. Skirmish into a Mirror Image. Really good call there by Mina. You're expecting another big swing from Mr. Hyde, so you try to mitigate as much damage as you can, and Mirror Image is a good way to do that. So now Mr. Hyde is stuck next to Bloody Mary, and there's a Trick of Light into no defense. That's interesting. So two damage straight up, Bloody Mary will move to another zone, and Mina will presumably follow up with another attack because she knows that there is no defense forthcoming. That might have been a misplay on uh, Hussein's part there. So that's a jump scare for six damage. So in one turn, Jekyll and Hyde has been brought to half health. He'll transform back to Dr. Jekyll and probably try to draw up to find some defense cards. Here's a calming research that will take a start. He'll recover two health and do a filtered card draw. So he'll draw three, keep one, put the others on the bottom of his deck. That can backfire a bit if you draw re three really good cards or you draw one defense card that you need right now and two really powerful attack cards. But it looks like he's dropping a feint and another versatile to the bottom, so presumably he found something that he was looking for. And then he'll maneuver again. Mina manages to trigger Bloody Mary, so she will have three actions. Here's the first for a maneuver. Here's the second, now is a good time to put the pressure on. And it's a with, oh sorry, broken glass into with haste. Broken glass allows Mina to pump it up to four and deal two damage and draw a card. But Dr. Jekyll is able to get away, so the third action for Mina is just another maneuver. And she'll kind of stay reasonably within range to try and catch up to him. Mina will maneuver. It looks like she's considering a boost to try and get to Dr. Jekyll. Here's the closest she appears, so there it is. That's another draw, another action, and it's a third action now. So we are expecting what is likely to be a big swing. It could be a fake out. And here it is, a ghostly touch into a succumb to compulsion. So Mina is able to boost this and she will recover three health afterwards. But Dr. Jekyll is able to move away if he so wishes. So it looks like Mina will decline to boost, but will heal up. So just a quick note, she does heal two at this point, but she will correct this after the next skirmish. Mr. Hyde will play pure evil to deal two auto damage through to Mina, and then she will recover one health because she missed one earlier. So 11 to eight currently. And then second action, 
Mr. Hyde will swing. He's saying being very aggressive here. It's a recoiling blow into a broken glass, another of that interaction. So one damage through and then Mr. Hyde will get to run away and become Dr. Jekyll again. Some really nice encounter management there from Hussein. He hits really hard and is able to disengage and go back into his defensive form. In the meantime, Mina will manoeuvre up close. Is she gonna boost? Nope, she's gonna play Stolen Memories instead and look at the two cards in Hussein's hand, which looks like a Forever Hide and a Calming Research. And she will discard, well, she will identify the Calming Research. Does Hussein want to take three damage? He declines. At this point, it might be worth Play, taking the damage because then you heal straight back up. You heal two and take three, but then you get a filtered card draw and you look like you might need it uh, with just a forever hide in hand. But Hussein will take the discard and maneuver away, shuffling back onto the island. So it looks like Mina will take the boosted maneuver and try to catch up and put on the pressure. It is a bloody raccoon into a with haste. That looks like a really good play by Mina. It draws out the four defense and Dr. Jekyll does get to move away, but he will still take a four attack follow-up with the bloody reprise. So he'll have to defend with come to compulsion, which is only two value. So he will take two damage and then have to transform back into Mr. Hindler. So there it is, Dr. Jekyll will double maneuver. Mina has three cards at hand, so she'll trigger Bloody Mary. Here is the maneuver. Here is the second action, which is Stolen Memories. Looking at the three cards, it's Forever Hide, Skirmish, and Distracted Triage. So he's managed to find more versatile cards, so he has defense cards in hand, and Mina will identify one of them to take out. Yeah, taking three damage down to three health at this point isn't great, I suppose, so that's probably a good call to discard that. And Mina will just take a maneuver as her last action and just step out of range, forcing Dr. Jekyll to come to him if necessary, but also pinning him into the side of the boat. So Dr. Jekyll will move in and attack. It's a skirmish into an Infinity Mirror. So not only does Skirmish not win, Infinity Mirror is also not conditional on, on uh, winning the combat either. So um, Mina will get to move Dr. Jekyll if she so wishes. I don't think she will. And it's a trick of the light into a distracted triage to follow up. Crucially, Hussein does win the combat there, so he gets to recover two health, which is very important. And Trick of Light allows Mina to dance around Dr. Jekyll. She'll follow up with an Infinity Mirror undefended, so that's four damage into Jekyll and Hyde, bringing him down to four, again, halving him, uh, halving his health. And then popping him away from Bloody Mary to avoid any sort of retaliation. But I think Hussein, with so few cards at hand, is just gonna maneuver and maneuver. So here we have a whole bunch of maneuvering because both both players were playing at super low hand count, so it makes sense. Mina will step in, play the second closer than she appears. I do love that card; it's excellent in her. And for the third action, will presumably make an attack, uh, which might be pretty scary on his own spot. So far, even though Jekyll and Hyde can hit harder than Bloody Mary, broadly speaking. Mary's card draw and action gain has meant she's able to keep up the pressure. So here's a speed three times into a feint. He's saying, saw, like, saw that one coming down the highway and only takes one damage down to three health. But three health to 10 is looking pretty tough for him. He'll swap to Mr. Hyde and just try and put as much damage as he can in, which makes a lot of sense. So here's a duality of man that is a six value into a three value of eight. That's a good start. Um, so three damage through to Mina. She does draw a card though. So seven health to three currently. And here's the second attack. So here is a forever hide into a jump scare. So that's a five value into a three. I don't believe Hussein discards any cards. So it is just a flat five. And as Bloody Mary, you're happy to see that card gone. But that has halved the Bloody Mary down to five health. So that's notable. Here is a Bloody Requiem into a Madless Relents. So Mr. Hyde is able to transform back to Dr. Jekyll, but is also taking in the four afterwards and has to defend with a Jazzy of Man, which is a six defense, so it's a fully defended double attack from Bloody Mary, but that I think is most of the cards out of Hussein's hand. And then Mina will attack with a ghostly touch and she's able to boost the attack. She boosts it perfectly by two with a speed three times for a three value attack, bringing Jekyll and Hyde to zero, and that is game. So a really bloody match there, both players going in swinging. Hussein pushed the aggression really early on, and did a lot of damage, brought Bloody Mary down from 16 to 10 quite early on in the game. However, because of 
Bloody Mary's ability to kind of keep pace. He quickly fell behind in terms of card advantage and I don't think he ever recovered there. But really well played from both players. Uh, Mina saw the advantage and kept up the pressure and kept following and attacking and forcing uh, Jekyll and Hyde to play at low, low hand count. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time.